hello friends and good morning. It is nine o'clock, I just ran out. I'm actually wearing the same outfit I wore yesterday. It wasn't dirty, it was clean, I folded it up. You know, save yourself the laundry. I just ran out and got myself breakfast. Today Steven will be home, I need to text him later and see what time he's planning on getting here. But, um, yeah, I am excited to see him. I miss him a lot. I know Bubby misses him a lot. Bubba's is upstairs still. He's been out once this morning, but I think he's like pretty relaxed and chilling. So I grabbed some coffee and I grabbed a breakfast sandwich. I'm gonna have some breakfast this morning. I actually ordered a head and it's from one of my favorite places down the road called Village Bakery. Let me heat this up a little bit more. Although it feels pretty warm. If Bubby comes downstairs, I'm prepared to share some of my breakfast with him. But I just got a egg sandwich. I'm just going to eat this half of it and give Bubby the other half. Do you want some? I share some with you. I'll share some with you if you come downstairs. <gasps> Hello. I share some of this with you. Do you want some? Say good morning to everybody. Also, I got a pair of Rothy's and I love them. They're so, so comfortable. You want some? Here, I'll share some with you. I'm gonna go ahead and sit over here and have this half of the sandwich. And we will call it a day. <gasps> and then we'll get started. And we'll get started for today. I am back. I went to a Marshall's Home Sense and Home Goods. And I'm empty handed. I could not find anything. Also, I tried to film in there and they were blasting the music at all three that I would get a copyright infringement because the music was so loud and there was no way in post production I'd be able to even like edit it out and then you still be able to hear me. I've never been in a store that was playing music that loud, but could find absolutely nothing. And yeah, some of those days are just like that. Although I didn't go in looking for anything in particular, but yeah, there was nothing, nothing there of interest. It was super disappointing, but you know, such is life. Really have nothing to complain about. Steven is estimated to get home around 1230. I'm super excited to see him. I miss him. It's been, uh, he left Friday, so I'm really pumped for him to get home. I know Bubba has missed him terribly, so. Come on, come on, Bubs. We're running. So I'm gonna get Bubby a cookie. There's some things that I wanna get done here in the house. I'm waiting for this light to adjust. I'm sorry, I don't have any lights. Oh, there we go. But yeah, daddy's home, come here, come here. Looky. Oh, Baba's, oh, you did a good boy, I missed you, oh, I know. You missed me. Yes, he did. I thought you'd get a bigger reaction than that. Than him? He probably didn't even know I was gone. Ooh. I took good care of him. He's so hot. I am making a salad. And I was actually surprised by how many people do not salt and pepper their greens when making a salad. I'm telling you, if you salt and pepper your greens, your salad tastes so much better. But so many people just like throw it all in. Please do me a favor and salt your greens. I'm actually using some vegetables that were still left over from my little veggie tray that I made myself yesterday. I'm just going to throw a bunch of those in just to not waste them. It's great that they're already prepped. All right, I'm just cutting up some of those peppers that I had left over from last night. And then I am just going to add This is not, you have had enough today, sir. I'm just going to add 
some Parmesan cheese, just a little bit. I want lunch to be really light just because I had that sandwich today. And then I'm just going to top this with some olive oil, a little bit of apple cider vinegar, and that's it. I just woke up from a nap. Steven is actually napping. I think he's tired from driving. And Bubba's is also napping. <laughs> it's just a lazy day before we go back to the grind of work. Over on Instagram, I asked you guys to send in some questions. I'm gonna answer some, not just today, but also some as we go through the rest of Vlogtober. I can't believe we're like midway through October pretty soon. It's kind of wild. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd answer a couple here. But if you're not following me over on Instagram, you totally should. It's probably the best place for us to connect. I answer almost every single DM and comment I receive. Um, it's just easier. So I thought I'd go through some of the questions. Where do you get your inspiration for decor, you fabulous taste? I think there's no one place where I get inspiration. I think I find different things everywhere and then make it my own. Traveling gives me a lot of inspiration. I pick up a lot of color palettes and have changed our home after a lot of trips based off of that. But I think I get inspiration from so many places, but I never try to just replicate the style. I think that is a huge difference. I never try to just like make the same thing over again. I try to make it very much my own. Um, and match my own aesthetic. Oh my gosh, the next question was, where do you find inspiration? How do you prevent frustration and burnout at work? Um, I think this year, uh, very differently than other years, I'm just quitting every day. My favorite part of my job is quitting. <laughs> I quit every day now, which is something I haven't done. I do not email any of my team after work hours. I do not answer emails after work hours unless it's an emergency because it'll be there in the morning. So I quit every day and I give back to myself. I don't think you can ever truly avoid frustration. That's just part of working there are frustrations, but I think about what's in my control and then how do I respond moving forward. What are Christmas decorating basics or decor base that everyone needs for their first home? Here is what I have learned and I think if I could go back and do some things over again, buy good stuff, particularly garlands and trees. I have bought all the cheap garlands, you know, when you go to Walmart or Target, they don't last. They might stay nice for two years, but they're still expensive and you ultimately will have to replace them, especially if you do like a lot of manipulating with them. They just aren't made to withstand that. So I think over the last five years, I've invested in really good garlands that will last me now 10, 15 years and I'll never have to think about replacing them. So I would say like investing good garlands, good wreaths and good trees because everything else from there on out is reasonably Ex like inexpensive and you can change it out and those trends will change but garlands wreaths and trees the greenery pieces of your decor really important to invest in good ones how old is Bubba's he is 14 are your parents coming for Thanksgiving they are coming for Thanksgiving and I'm super excited to have them Steven and I are actually hosting Thanksgiving so get ready for some fun tablescapes I'm actually gonna do a couple different um, little videos on tablescapes in November, which I'm super excited about. They'll have some DIYs in them. I'm waiting for a uh, set of plates to arrive. I'm going with like a black and white, black, when you think black and white, you think like, I don't know, either modern or like very farmhousey. We're not doing either of those. It's going to be my spin on a black and white tablescape. The book I'm currently reading is Unbound. It is fantastic. It's a memoir. I think all of you should be reading it. I do want to do more planner videos. I'm currently in a digital planner. Um, stay tuned. What bag are you currently using for work? I have so many bags. So I recently bought well, not recently. I have acquired a couple good bags. I just haven't shared them. I don't feel the need to share those kinds of things anymore. So I did get the large Louis Vuitton on the go tote. I also have the Christian Dior book tote. But for work, I really go with my Dagny Dover backpacks. I have two of them. I have an olive green one and a gray one. 
I love those things. Also, I find them like trying to carry my phone and my coffee and just having a backpack is easier for me and it's what I prefer, but I have recently acquired some new bags. I just don't show them off or do unboxings because I think like, did I buy it for you or for me? I bought it for me and I don't feel the need to do that. Also, I don't know, those kinds of videos have kind of, I don't know, I just feel differently. And I think you have noticed like a huge shift in the channel from where we started with luxury purchases and stuff. They still happen. I just <laughs> keep them a little bit more to myself. If you could go back and tell 21 year old Christopher a piece of advice, what would it be? That you would get through everything and that things are not the end of the world and that, um, Sometimes it's, and most of the time, it is not all about you. And don't think that everything that people think or say is about you. And to quit creating stories in your head because you're not the opinions or thoughts of others in the first place. So worry less, care less, all those things. I'm sorry, my lighting is going in and out, but we'll just deal with it and we'll embrace it. What's your bedtime these days? Since May, I'm thinking it might be different. No, um, typically it's 7.30 to eight and I lay in bed and read or watch a little TV and then fall asleep because I get up around 4, 4.15 every morning. So that is my, that is pretty much my bedtime. Christmas reads, I'm actually going to start looking for mine and what pre-orders are out there. They usually release end of October, so I just haven't had time to look, but I will definitely be sharing my list of books that I'll be reading during November. Oh, could you tell us more about your recovery process from your pulmonary embolisms? Well, friends, I think that's a longer story, um, and I'm still in recovery from it and still getting over it. I still have a couple issues that I'm sorting out with my doctors and things like that, but um, yeah, it's definitely a journey. It takes you longer than you think. Uh, there are these moments where I'm still short of breath. Your lungs take a long time to heal. I actually had binary pulmonary embolism, so I had them in both lungs. And I also had a DVT in my right leg. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be a little bit of a journey and a little bit of a, a, a it's gonna take some time and that's okay. What's for dinner? To this week, um, I'm doing a pork loin with roasted potatoes and broccoli one night. I am doing tacos one night um, that are sweet potato and black bean. I am, what else is for dinner this week? Oh, I'm doing homemade meatballs one night and pasta. I'll probably do some uh, pot stickers one night. We usually have pot stickers almost once a week. They're so low calorie and they're so good and they're so simple. Favorite ice cream and brand, Pittsford Dairy. It's our local dairy that I go to and I love, I'm, I'm basic, I love a vanilla. Are you traveling for Christmas? We have decided not to. We actually had trips planned. We were supposed to go to Austria last year and obviously because of everything we had to cancel. So Steven and I were thinking about like what do we do this year? but we're not going to travel because we didn't get to spend Christmas with our families last year either. Um, so I think that's gonna be the main goal of Christmas this year. And we're not gonna travel. We are traveling in February. Steven actually has it all planned for my 40th birthday. Yes, I am turning 40 in February. So we gotta get, we gotta get in really good shape before then. How excited are you for the new Adele? I can't wait. I am a little torn because Kelly Clarkson is releasing her Christmas album on the, Friday and Adele is releasing her new single. I already listened to a snippet on her Instagram story. What you should know about me though is I get a little I get a little defensive about Adele fans because most people became Adele fans when 25 came out. I've been an Adele fan since 19. I remember watching Chasing Pavement on MTV and being such a huge fan of hers and like she was kind of obscure and not many people were into her. Hometown Glory is one of my favorite songs um, of hers of all time. But my absolute favorite song is one that many people don't know. It was a bonus track. It might have only been on, oh, I don't know if it was fully released in the US or was it overseas a bonus track? Anyway, it's called Can't Let Go. She wrote it at the same time that 25 was released and it was a bonus track on that album. If you have never heard it, you have to go listen to it. It is heart-wrenching. It is a beautiful song. Um, I was just singing it in the car. It goes, 
Did you find the note that I wrote? I hid it in the seam of your coat. It was hard to write, I had a lump in my throat. Do you even know I can't let go? And it is such a beautiful song. I give it no justice. I am not a singer, but it is such a beautiful song. Favorite bed pillow. If you find one, let me know because I've recently purchased a bunch and I can't find one I'm happy with. Are you still house hunting? We looked at a house. It would have been right before I got sick we went and looked at one. It looked much better in pictures. Um, it was, well, it was beautiful. Let, let me backtrack. It was beautifully done. It looked larger in pictures. It was very small. Steven and I have looked. Steven actually just sent me a house the other day to look at. I'm not interested in it. Um, it's a lot of land, something that we don't need. Um, but we can't find a house that we like more. I also think the last year I've put a lot of like heart and soul into our house and make it very much ours. So it's just been hard to find something we like. We can't find a layout we like more. We can't find a neighborhood we like more. We can't find a lot we like more. So we're kind of here. Our neighbors across our street just sold. Um, neighbors, people are starting to sell in our neighborhood. But um, yeah. They're making good money on their homes too. But we just can't find anything that we like more than what we have. And I am so blessed to have this house and I love it. Okay, so someone said, what's the link to your podcast? So many people have reached out in the last week about me starting a podcast. I'm seeing at least 20 to 30 people have asked me about it. I think it would be fun. I'd have to look a lot into it and know that I could make it interesting. Let me know in the comments down below, A, what would you want to talk about, who would you want me to talk with, and B, would you even listen to a podcast? I feel like it would be a lot of me. I don't know if I could, I don't know if I could do it. What's your next travel destination? We are actually spending my 40th birthday in Napa. Um, but Steven and I do want to start traveling again. We're just being a little extra cautious. Have you ever been to Belgium? Speaking of traveling, yes, and it was amazing. It was, uh... It was a beautiful trip. We went to Antwerp and it was, ugh, I could live there. How far in advance do you plan your Christmas decorations? I actually kind of plan them a year in advance. And the reason I always plan a year in advance, if anyone remembers, I had actually shared this year's theme, or at least what I was thinking, probably before Christmas last year. And the reason I share that in advance is so I can take advantage of things that I know could work for my theme, start adapting them, or get them while they're on sale. So I actually plan a year in advance. I actually am already thinking about what I'm going to do for Christmas 2022. And how do I store those things? I box them by theme and organize them by theme. And then things that are neutral that I could use for multiple themes, I keep separate and just in my regular containers. And I'm actually thinking of starting to rent out my themes and also decorate for others so that they get second life. I also donate a lot of it. Does your anxiety ever give you sleeping issues? Uh, ask Steven. He has spent countless nights, um, probably years, <laughs> rubbing my back at night because I have such a hard time going to sleep. And this year has been so different. Since I came home from the hospital, um, I had a couple of sleepless nights because I was nervous sleeping. I was so afraid something would happen while I was asleep. But after that, and after I've kind of reassessed and reprioritized things, I have been sleeping better than I have ever slept. Uh, and it's been a huge difference. And part of it has been kind of releasing things and letting my anxiety go. Do you have a cleaning person or housekeeper? Your house always looks immaculate. That is because Steven and I are neat people. We do not have a house cleaner. We used to at our house previously to this and we had a really bad experience to the point where I will never, ever, ever have one again. So, no, I don't. I'm going to save the rest of the questions for other vlogs Friday, Saturday, and Sunday next week, but I wanted to answer a few. I hope you guys like that. I love, love that moment. Please answer any of those questions down below so I can hear what you're thinking about as well. When do you plan your Christmas decorations? Where do you love to shop for Christmas decor? What are you reading? I'd love to know. 
All right, I'm sorry the light went in and out, but we're at that weird time of day where it's just gonna do that. We also had two advent calendars delivered. So all my advent calendars are linked in the description box, but this is the wood dog advent calendar I picked up. And then you guys know we needed to get Sugarfina. So Sugarfina is here. Super excited. It's not as cute as last year's. I'm gonna just say that. But Sugarfina is here. Mary Mary is here. Yay! And say, we still have to order yours because you're getting the Williams Sonoma one. Yes. Yes. Oh. I love you. I was just editing. The video is pretty long with the Q&A, so I'm gonna wrap it up a little bit early today so I can enjoy time with Steven since he just got back and then we both go off to work tomorrow. So I'm gonna end it like I end all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone until next time, which will be soon, Friday to be exact. Bye-bye.